Guys, today I want to show you how to uh, get Cydia installer to show up on your jailbroken iPod Touch in firmware 2.1 and above. So if there any firmware above 2.0, this 2.1 this should work. So basically what I'm saying is if you drill broke with QuickPwn and you do not see, you know you did everything right, right, but you just do not see installer or Cydia, this is the video for you. So first you're gonna want to download Disk Aid in the right on the right in the video description. Download that and then you're gonna want to install it. It literally takes oh, under 30 seconds. Then you're going to, want to open up Discade. It takes about 45 seconds for the uh, first time to open up, so I'm going to pause the video. Okay, I didn't want to waste your time, so I'm back. Uh, I didn't want to waste your time, that's why I paused it. But it doesn't take that long to open up. So then down here, you're going to want to hit this and hit Root Folder. Again, that's Root Folder. R-O-O-T Folder. Hit that, hit OK, and do exactly what I do. You might want to watch this before you just start doing it. Down here, don't do it in this section, it like freezes sometimes. Do it right here. You're going to want to go to go, go to private, find private, var, mobile, mobile, M O B I L E. Once you go into mobile, go to library. Once you go into library, Go to catches, C-A-C-H-E-S, C-A-C-H-E-S. That's how you spell it. Again, that's C-A-C-H-E-S. Click on catches. Here you are. Cages or catches, I don't know how to spell it. And then you're going to want to delete this folder. Right here. One of these two folders. Do, just do the do this one. Trust me, it's way easier. You just want to delete com.apple.mobileinstallation.plist. Only delete com.apple.mobile.installation.plist. Again, that's com.apple.mobileinstallation.plist. You're going to want to right click on it and hit delete. Shouldn't take that long to delete. It's only 4 kilobytes. And just confirm if it asks you if you're sure. Just hit yes. It's sort of like WinCCP, except you can't do this. And I believe you actually can, but do it in this. Trust me. I tried it in WinSCP and my iPad froze, but I just had to reboot it. It wasn't that hard. But, yeah, I'm not going to delete it because I already have it. This is just a problem to fix people. It fixes people's problem because people have been commenting on my video saying, I used QuickPone, I jailbroke my iPod Touch, said I jailbroke it successfully. Or, using WinPone, said I jailbroke it successfully, except um, City and Installer aren't showing up. So, use this video if City and Installer aren't showing up on your 2.1 firmware or above iPod Touch. So, yeah, just again, right click on it, hit delete, exit out, reboot your iPhone, and voila, you have, and voila, you're, you're gonna have City and Installer. Be sure to do a full reboot. It might not show when you just do a respring. I'm pretty sure it won't since there's a big file. City and install, you want to do a full reboot. Use iReboot or something, or just reboot. That's about it, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Comment if you have any questions or private message me. Thanks. Subscribe.